You, my dear, are going to love this one. We're talking about shifting our identity in order for us to achieve our next level goals. I know you've already gotten really far in terms of where your life is right now. You've made a lot of progress. You've been able to achieve a lot of things, but you're ambitious and you're looking to achieve even more things, even greater things. And you know that in this lifetime, if you're not growing, you're ripe and rotting. You know, there's a saying that you're either green and growing or you're ripe and rotting. So the fact that you're watching this means that you are green and growing. And we are looking at achieving even more things this year or next year than we have been able to achieve in the past. So in order for us to fast track that, one of the things that we need to look at is what has been holding us back. Because no matter how fast you can run, I'm Kenyan, so we have amazing marathoners, right? World record breaking marathoners. But if one of those marathoners is running with one of those big boulders stuck, attached to his leg, it doesn't matter how good he is, how well he's trained. He'll not be able to get there faster or achieve his goals even, might even get injured, would get too tired, it would be too much for you to drag this thing for 42 kilometers, right? So in order for you to achieve your goals, you also have to look at what are the things that have been holding you back in order for you to break free from those things and accelerate the pace at which you get to your goals. And in this case, we're talking about back to being, being the person who will do the things and have the results, have the, the achievement that you're looking to have. So in order for us to be that person, there are things that have been keeping us stuck on the old identity, on the old person who we have been, who has been fine. They've been able to achieve certain things, but you need to shed that person. And in order to shed that person, you have to shed the things that are holding them back from getting to the new identity that is going to do the new things that will help them achieve the new results and that the results which will will stick oh hi ninja you want to say hi okay come come and say hi okay this is ninja <laughs> say hi ninja yay ninja has been running around um well he does that every day <laughs> in order for us to fast track the rate at which we make these changes, we have to cut off those things that are really slowing us down. So I want you to do an audit. And I did one for myself. I wrote down some of the things that I believe have been holding me back. And some of the things are like one of the things being how I invest my time. What do I do on a regular basis? I had done in the past, I'd done an audit where I had this tool, I can't remember what it was called, maybe Clockify or one of those apps that I downloaded. And depending on what I was doing, I would log my time and log what I was doing. And later on, I was able to see how I allocate my time. And that was a very useful practice for me to realize that I allocate too much time um, with like having conversations on phone or doing things that are not really progressive for me. So when you audit your time and also commuting, like even when I was commuting, I would log that in, stuck in traffic, I would log that in. So I could also see how much time am I actually spending in traffic? And if I really do need to spend that time, is there something that I can be doing that can help contribute to my growth? Like listening to a podcast, um, listen to Jackie speaking, you know, things like that. So I audited my time and I want to do it again to just see what are the things that, like has, this was a while back, so I want to now see how am I investing my time now? Because I know that's an area that I need to audit. So that's one. And it also affects where my energy goes because my energy goes to the things that I invest the most time in and also invest money in. So that's another area that I want to audit. I want to audit how, how I spend my money because sometimes I make careless decisions and they really do hold me back. So yeah, that's, that's important. That's, that's something that I want to do. Another thing that, that I will be evaluating is my friendships, the people who I spend most of my time with. <clears throat> because how you spend your time 
is part of your environment. Like where you live, um, where you, how your environment looks like. You know, is your house a mess or your office where you're working? Is it a mess? Um, that environment, even your body, your body is part of your environment. Is it clean? Is it, you know, is it embodying what you want from that new identity? This is your environment. Your friends are a, a very strong influencer on you. And you need to audit that to see whether your friends are the kind of people who are going to help you achieve your next level goals. And one of the things that you can look at, and I learned this from, um, what's he called? He's, uh, I forget his name, but I'm seeing his face. Uh, I'll, I'll put his name in the, I'll, I'll just write his name. He's one of my online mentors. And one of the things that he said is assess your friends in three ways. One, look at how emotionally mature they are. Ask yourself, write down the people you spend most of your time with and ask yourself, how emotionally mature are they? And then second, ask yourself, are there things that they do or traits that they have that you want to emulate? or things that they have that you want to have for yourself. Are there things like, is it a great relationship? Is it their finances in order? Is it how they live, how joyful they are, how adventurous they are? Like, what are some of those traits that you would love to have for yourself, right? And then also, you can also look at what are some of those things that they have or do that you don't want? Is it how they always get into trouble? They always have problems. Things are always not working out for them. Is it maybe how much they drink? How much they party? How much they, they like the fact that they don't do anything for their personal development and that's important for you. Look at that and then see if this people or person are the right people to help you get to that next level because remember in an earlier exercise we did in a in another video we looked at your current character traits your current behavior your habits your current we did an audit of that and then we looked at what are the character traits the behaviors the habits of the person you want to embody now if friends is something like these friendships are the kind of friendships that this new identity would embody, would have in their life, then that's fine. But if you realize that these friends have gotten you so far, have helped you this far, but they are not the kind of people who will get you to the next level, then you really need to think about this. And I'm not telling you what to do. You need to make that decision for yourself. And this also goes as far as even your business. Like if you're looking at employees or people who've been working with you or partners that you've been with and these partners have been able to get you so far, are they the kind of partners or employees who will help your business get to that next level? Because your business as well has to embody a new personality in order for it to grow, right? Your business is also a thing. It's, a, it's an identity. That culture in your business is an identity. So as much as you're addressing yourself and your identity, which by the way, um, <laughs> is a huge, your business is a huge reflection of you and your identity. So if you notice certain traits about yourself, that are very much a part of your business culture, yeah, you'll know what I mean. So even as you're transforming yourself, as you're improving yourself, as you're getting yourself to the next level, as you're changing your identity, you'll start to notice that even the identity of your business will change. And some people can't fit into that new identity and they'll leave or you'll have to exit them. So you might as well start to do the audit now so that you can figure out what kind of people do you need to get you to the next level. What kind of resources will you need to get you to that next level? So I think this is really exciting and a great exercise for you to do, for me to do, for us to do. 
And it's scary, especially when you're looking at auditing things and realizing, you know, if you audit your time and then you realize that you spend too much time doing something that is not um, bringing you the results, is not contributing towards your growth, or you say that your family is important, but when you look at your time and you audit your time, you're spending more time with your friends than you are with your family, or you're spending a lot more time doing things that are not contributing, like scrolling on social media, consuming all this content, but it's not helping contribute towards your growth. And yeah, it's, it's scary. And I think it's necessary if we're to get to that next level. We talked about a seed that has to break through the ground in order for it to grow. This process is not always easy. It can be painful, can involve fire, because some seeds have to get heated. There has to be a fire in order for the outer shell to break and that seed to be able to pierce through before it's even able to pierce through the ground and start growing and get some sunlight and some water, right? So this process, as difficult as it may be, it's necessary, it's a necessary part of our growth. And let's do it, let's hold each other accountable. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking or some of the things that this has revealed to you, uh, some of the changes, any questions that you may have, and then we'll figure it out together. Cool. All right. So, hi, Ninja. Okay. See, <laughs> he just, <laughs> look at him. He's jumping up and he just almost dropped the camera. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye.